Delta Soda State Boys, a Louisiana State Trooper stops a reckless driver. As the troopers dig deeper, the situation takes a serious turn. Nervousness turns into confessions and confrontations. What will the troopers find? The state boys on the highway. Do the speed let me stay. Boys don't play. The state boys on the interstate. Make sure your license is good and it takes up the day. The state boys on the highway. They stop and hear what they get there. Look at the way. The state boys on the interstate. Put your seatbelt on the state boys don't play. State boys. Body cam footage from your Louisiana State Police, multiple sheriff offices, and city police. Webster Parish. On November 14, 2021, a trooper with the Louisiana State Police, Troop G, observed a dying challenger commit a traffic violation that almost caused a serious wreck. The trooper would catch up to the vehicle and make contact with the driver, 38-year-old Terry Shields, and tell him the reason for the traffic stop. Trying to catch up with this Challenger. When it came up close to us, it jerked over into the right lane. The 18 wheeler that was in the right lane had to slam on his brakes. Then the Challenger got up behind the vehicle that was in front of, less than a car length, almost rear ended it. E40. Uh, 20 eastbound, the 38. Mississippi Hotel November Whiskey 0370 HNW 0370 Silver Dodge Challenger. Yeah. Moving around a lot. Sorry, step back here. Hey, how you doing? You going back here for me? You know, I, I'm a trooper out by the state police, man. Look, the reason I saw me, you almost caused a crash back there. When you got over, there wasn't enough room for you to get over that eight wide to slam on the brakes and they hit the shoulder. You almost you almost ran them off the road, man. Oh, I'm so I'm just gonna tell you to make sure you pay more attention whenever you get over. That, right? that, that cut it, you seen that black truck out behind me? I, I didn't see oh, the Oh, you were kind of riding on my ass, so I tried to get okay. over. So I'm, right. I'm, you have your driver's license on yes, you, man? Let's take a look we get you out of here. Where you head? Where's that at? Uh, Jackson. Jackson, okay. Jackson. Where are you coming in from? Uh, Texas. Okay. Hold up, I know I got I just had it because I see you got one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Your, your license are good? Yes, sir. Okay. Good, sir. What part of Texas you went to? Uh, Dallas. Dallas? Okay. How long was y'all there? Uh, for the weekend. All right. You, uh, so uh, you live in Jackson? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. How many people are in the vehicle? I can't see. Two girls. All right. Just oh, for no my problem. safety. No problem. No, problem. no problem, sir. No problem. No tickets on your record, nothing like that? Okay. Uh, the vehicle rescued you? No. My mother-in-law. Your brother-in-law? Yeah. Is the paperwork in there? Yes, sir. Okay. Hang tight right here yes, for sir. me, and yes, I'm going to go over here and talk to them real quick, get the paperwork. Is it in the glove compartment? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Just roll the window down. You don't have to get out of that. <laughs> Y'all doing all right? Uh -huh. Is the registration insurance up here? Can you look in the glove box for me? Y'all doing okay? What's that? I'm sorry. I said we doing fine. Are you doing Oh, I'm doing all right. I'd rather be at home right now. I know that. <laughs> hey, that's good right there. Where y'all? Where y'all coming in from? Uh, yeah. Okay. How long was y'all over there? Okay. All right. Well, give me one second. I'm gonna get y'all. Hey, the reason I the reason I stopped y'all, I told him, is whenever he got over he got, that, he got that eighteen wheeler. Yeah, almost, told. Yeah. All right. Give me one second. I'll get y'all out of here. Okay. All, right. All right, man. I'm gonna run your lights real quick. Get y'all up the road. All right. You ever been in trouble for anything? Oh yeah, I've been in trouble. I'm just asking you, I'm doing man. Oh, uh, when I was younger, uh, drugs, smoking weed, no violence or anything like that. Oh hell no. All right.
camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang tight right here in front of my camera. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. As the trooper runs Terry license, he explains over the phone what he noticed from talking to the driver and the passengers of the vehicle. Alright, he's extremely nervous. Uh, there's a strong odor of marijuana coming from inside the vehicle. Uh, he almost caused a crash. His, his, uh, corner of his eyes are twitching real bad. There's two females in the car. They're extremely nervous also. Uh, the front passenger, she won't, she wouldn't make eye contact with me. I said a strong odor of marijuana coming out of the car. He told me he's got a drug history from when he was younger. Trying to run his license. And I went ahead and called for another unit up here since I can smell the marijuana coming out of the car. His hands are, his hands are shaking real bad right now. He just scratched his temple and his hands were shaking real bad. All right, he's got flight charges. The trooper would then talk to Terry again and confront him about what he noticed in the traffic stop. Alright man, you, uh, are you on probation pro or anything like that? Yeah. Are you doing everything you need to do? Yeah, I talked to him, you called him, okay. you know you got to act with yeah. him. How, how much time do you have left for Two more years. Two more years? Yeah. How much time do you have total? Alright, look man, I, I ain't... I ain't about no BS, all right? You straight up with me, I'll work with you. I ain't trying to be careful no more, okay? I can smell where I want to come out the corner, all right? If there's a person you saw me, let me know about it. We're working out. Is there anything up there I need to know about? Okay, all right. How much weed's up there? You got it on? That's why I'm worse than that. ain't no big deal. You ain't got no weapons, right? Okay, yeah, just yeah, just toss that up here, man. That ain't no big deal. That ain't worth Hey, we're, hey, I tell you what, grab it, grab it, put it right, put it right here for me. Right underneath that windshield. Right there we go. That's, that's all there is in the whole car? That's cool. Okay, look, hey, if it's a big deal, you're being handcuffed right now, right? It ain't no big deal. All right, there's no firearms or anything up there? You got a problem with me searching the car and make sure there's nothing else? Yeah, that's, that's my mama and she, and she already just said that. I don't want them all in my, all in my mama. Okay, all right. All right, well, just hang tight right here for me, okay? Hey, who's the owner of the car? The front passenger? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, okay. As the Terry refused to let the trooper search the vehicle, the trooper would then talk to the passengers of the vehicle. Okay, y'all doing okay? Alright, got some questions for you, okay? It's not that big a deal, y'all straight up with me, I'll work with you, okay? I can smell weed coming out the car, alright? Uh, here's the deal, I am not worried about any person use marijuana, nothing like that, okay? If y'all got a little person use pills, marijuana, coke, whatever it is, I don't care. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just putting it all out there. If there's a little something I need to know about, y'all let me know, we'll work it out. He already gave me the marijuana that was on here, okay? All right, is there anything else up here in the car I need to know about? How much marijuana is up here? What's that, I'm sorry? I don't know. Okay, all right. Whose car is it? Okay, all right. You have a problem with me searching the car? Make sure there's nothing, nothing, make sure there's nothing else in here? Okay. I'm new to these. Well, I'm just, I'm asking, all right, I I actually don't, I, I, I'm just asking you, I don't need your permission because I can smell it coming out, so I got probable cause. So, I just try to give everyone an opportunity if they if they know about something. Okay. I don't know how much you got in the wood. All right, yeah. All right, y'all come on out here for me, okay? All right, listen, but before we go any further, listen, if y'all have anything on you. I ain't got nothing. Just be straight I'm up with me. me. If you got something hidden on you somewhere, just go ahead and, and let me know about it. I, do. I, I barely got on clothes. <laughs> I, I got a piece. All right. Ain't nothing on me. Go, back, go straight back there for me, okay? All right. Do you, do you have anything on you? Any 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 narcotics? Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's not a big deal. That's fine. You go throw that back in your purse. Do you have anything hidden in your pants or your bra or anything? Don't do all that. I'm just asking. Okay. All right. You call it out here for me. He's going to leave everything in the car, okay? Yeah, I'm trying to help you out. So you Can don't... we pull this to the front? Yeah. That's how they use it. No. Yes. It's a tight fit. Okay. There we go. You're going to leave your purse in the car, okay? Oh, this ain't this ain't their stuff. This my stuff. I know, but it still needs to stay in the car. All right. 
You had a question for me? Yeah, you come on out. I was going to talk to you for a second. Okay. Alright, listen. Um, if there's anything I need to know about y'all, let me know in advance, okay? Okay. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I got a lot of worries out here, bigger than some person use narcotics. Okay, well, what I got is, I, you gonna look at my person stuff? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't have no drugs, but, you know, my medicine. Okay. But I do make edibles. Okay. How many, how much, how much edibles you have? I don't know. A lot? A little or a lot? It's a medium. Okay. I don't know what y'all call a lot. I got Cheetos, I make brownies, and okay. I make gummies. Okay. All right, that's fine. Just come on back here for me, okay? okay. We'll, we'll work it all out. Okay. All right? If it's a big deal, everyone be in handcuffs already, okay? You good. Go on back there with those troopers right there. As the troopers were about to search the vehicle, another confession is made. All right. Before I go up there and search, is there anything I need to know about? I don't know. So he had something on him. The uh, rear passenger, she keeps trying to take her purse out. She told me she's got, she says she makes edibles. I said, all right, so how much you got in there? She says, I don't know. I said, a lot or a little? She says, I don't, I don't know. About a medium amount. So, Finding more and more narcotics in the vehicle, the troopers try to find out whose luggage belongs to who. Oh, that's enough. Who all's luggage is this? That's your Louis Vuitton? The red and those private mine. 
Grand Strike. Who's backpack is that? Yeah, Who's Deontay? Deontay. 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 Deontay.
that firearm with the long Evil Zero the trooper then talks to the front passenger of the vehicle and explain the charges and she also tells the troopers more about the other vehicle hey come here let's fix it let's fix it hey do you want your whole purse to go with you or do you want to stay she got her phone she keep her phone you want your phone yeah i don't need nothing yeah all right so i'm going to take this one right that's all you want oh my medicine you want your medicine I have to take that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> Damn, where's all that come from? Now that's mine. Don't don't take my money. That's mine. It's five thousand dollars. I do. Good luck. What's that? About five thousand. You had that uh, deal. I'm gonna let you take the call from me, okay? Are you okay to drive? I'm just. I'll give you some time to calm down, okay? All right, before we get out Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, so right now uh, we're taking over the troop. Okay, uh, we're going back to Mosier, and they're gonna we got to turn them over to our detectives. And then we're, I'm gonna bring them like this exit right here. The jail is like literally right right over that tall tree line. Oh, the jail's no, right there. You in Webster Parish, USA. So if I was to try to pass, it, they'd be down here. Yeah, they're gonna be here. But look, just you know, go do what you need to do. All right. If you want to go into the house, I'm gonna go to my team. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be able to give you a call. Okay, but they, they are gonna be booked on multiple charges, and they'll be able to give you a call. Okay. You have any questions for me? Thank right. you. I'm sorry. Thank you, man. It's all right. Thank you for being so cooperative. It's nice meeting you. I wish I could meet you on different circumstances. Uh, uh, bar, huh? <laughs> Be careful, man. We're not sure if the other vehicle will stop. Runda Dixon was charged with possession with the intent to distribute a Schedule 1 controlled dangerous substance. Her charges were dismissed. Terry Shields was arrested for illegal possession of a weapon around a controlled dangerous substance. And he was sentenced to a five year suspended sentence at hard labor and placed on three years supervised probation. Uh, it's her birthday. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know she, I don't know what she was thinking about. It wasn't no part, it was a clear area of 2021. Right. Like, that, that doesn't make no sense. Then she got disability. Like, come on, man, what you doing? Then you take all these different meds and you. Ooh. Yeah, silver charge. But I tell you what. Well, no, I tell you what. I tell you what. I think I can do is instead of doing the the felon in possession of a firearm, I might be able to. I'm going to ask the detectives, but I might be able to just do the possession of firearm with a CDS because it's been ten years since your conviction, right? Right. Now, the only issue is your PO. I don't know what your PO is going to do. I'm not contacting your PO, but they're going to find out. Right, I know that. Uh, but as far as the firearm goes, typically it's uh, if there's no felony charges within the past 10 years, it's it's normally just a possession with a CDS instead of possession by a convicted felon. Yeah, as long as it ain't that, because, you know, it, oh, really, that, ain't, it really ain't my shit. So yeah. At the same time, I can't put the shit on a girl. Now you can't be like, hey, that's his up there, go catch him. Yeah. And it's got those armor piercing rounds in it too. That's the scary part. That's why when you when you see when you came from outside the car, I was like, oh, I could blow up and raise my hand. Yep. I could. Yeah, I can't let them take. Then it, it looked like you got it off my side. Yeah, it was under it was under the driver's seat. Dallas. 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 Dallas.